2021 marks the eagerly anticipated return to Greece for the World Rally Championship, as the Acropolis Rally readies its ancient gravel roads for the current crop of heroes to do battle. It's the first time since 2013 that this Rally of Gods will take place. And judging by what we've seen here in the past, you can be sure that we are in for an epic odyssey through the cradle of civilization. Held predominantly on punishing mountain roads, this event became known for reliably pushing both it's machine oh, no. and man. Hello to the absolute limit. Having been a founding member of the WRC, this rally is almost as storied as the landscape in which it's held. So let's take a look back at some unforgettable action from years gone by. The gruelling gravel of Greece has been the canvas for many legendary drives by many legendary drivers. In 1993, Italian Mickey Biazion became the first person to claim victory here no fewer than three times. A feat that was repeated by Carlos Sainz after winning here in 1990, 94 and 97. In more recent years, another three peaks was achieved by the most successful WRC driver of all time, Sebastian Loeb. Frenchman would dominate here in 2005, 2008 and 2012. But the undisputed master of Rally Greece, that would be none other than Colin McRae. McRae mastered the Acropolis a staggering five times between 1996 and 2002, winning twice in his iconic Subaru Impreza before taking a hat-trick of victories in his equally legendary Ford Focus. For a sport that often takes place on closed roads in the wilderness, there are precious few places for fans to safely see their heroes in action, up close and personal. So in the 90s, rally organisers started running some stages on shorter tracks where the public would be able to witness at least part of the spectacle in full. And it's hard to get more special than a stage held in the Athens Olympic Stadium, which is just what the organisers arranged for the memorable 2005 edition of the Acropolis. The fans flooded into the huge arena to watch the sports superstars go head to head, power sliding through the corners and catching some airtime. It helped the Acropolis win the Rally of the Year title in 2005, and this super special stage format was replicated both here and elsewhere many times in following years, drawing even more fans to the sport. Originally known as Fauna, this stage takes its name from a popular member of the local community nicknamed Tarzan, who the race organisers honoured in 1979 by renaming the stage. In the past, it was known as one of the toughest stages around, but nevertheless proved popular with the drivers. These days, Tarzan may have mellowed a little with age, but fear not, it still remains a huge test for the drivers. It will be tackled twice on Sunday, once as the Wolf Power Stage, and will no doubt have a big role to play on who comes out on top in Greece. Despite being a tad tamer than it has been in years gone by, there's every chance that 2021's Acropolis will be the toughest challenge drivers will face this year outside of Rally Kenya. The winding roads twisting through the mountains are littered with big rocks and choking dust, meaning you can be sure there will be no shortage of drama. Combine the often furious Greek heat with the merciless roads and, as with the safari, whoever wins here will no doubt be the driver who's smartest, not fastest.
We will be treated to no fewer than 15 of these gruelling tests covering 292.19 kilometres which will take on iconic stages such as Aggie Theodori, Alatia, Pavliani and Tarzan. Make no mistake, a proper sense of adventure is coming back to World Championship rallying once again. So, after a couple of back-to-back -back tarmac events, it's a welcome return to the grit and gravel. And when you mix in Greece's iconic landmarks and spectacular scenery to the intensity of the stages, you can be sure the Acropolis Rally is one you don't want to miss. Watch WRC Plus on all devices, WRC Plus, all live.